Hi, my name is Alfred with Crest LLC, and what we're going to learn to do in this video today is we're going to learn how to put a space on a report. So what we want to do is we want to notice how we've got a space here between line number eight and the, the heading wall. So we want to put a heading, but we want to put a space above it to separate it just to make your report look a little bit nicer. So let's go to the estimate items in our Xactimate. And let's say we want to put that heading right above line number nine. So we want to put a, a space there and then a heading for walls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the line where I want to put the space above because I'm going to hit the insert key and it's going to insert a space above it. So I'm going to hit the insert key on my keyboard. Now some keyboards don't have or some laptops don't have an insert key. You may have to Google uh, because there's uh, there's a certain combination of keys that will simulate an insert key and put an empty line there. Now hitting the insert key alone is not going to put a space on my report because if I go to another room and come back, that space is going to be gone because there's nothing in that space. So we're going to put a note there. So I'm going to double click right here or I can come up to the attachment notes and that's going to open up this F9 note. The reason they call it an F9 note is on some computers, if you hit the F9 key, it will also open up that note. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the, uh, the heading there, and I'm going to hit the Enter key to give me a space. And if you want to exaggerate it, you can just hit it and put two spaces there. But now I'm going to type in the word Walls, which is my heading. And if I want to make it, it's kind of weird the way it works, if I want to make it bold, on the report, I need to highlight it and hit the bold key here. And that makes it bold on the report, but not in the estimate items. So I'm going to hit the hit close here. And now notice I've got right there, I have a space, but where's my word walls? It's actually there. It's just on a second line, which doesn't show up on the estimate items. So it's there. If I go to the report, it will be there. As a matter of fact, I will show you that. Let's go to our report. So now notice how I've got my report looking right. There's my space. There's my heading. And the heading's in bold because we made it bold in the note. But my estimate items doesn't look right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 9 here. I'm going to hit insert again, and that's going to give me another space. I'm going to open up a, a note and I'm going to type in the word again. I'm not going to put it in bold because I'm going to have it not show up on the report. And the way I do that is by making it an internal note. See right there where it says internal note. So now I'm going to click right there. I'm not going to make it bold because it's not going to show up on the report. I'm going to hit close. And there it is right there, but I want it to show up bold on the estimate items, just like the report. So what I do is I right click, go down to line edit options, go over to bold. And now it's bold on the estimate items. Now, because I made it an internal note, it's not going to be on the report. Let's take a look at that. Let's go to our documents. Let's go to our reports. And you want to make sure that this is checked off right here exclude internal note. That way that note doesn't show up. So now when I go to my preview, that new space that I put there is not going to show up. See, it's hidden because it's an internal note. I've got my space, I've got my walls, and my estimate items also looks right. There it is right there. So this first note has the word walls, but it's hidden. The second note is hidden from the report, but it shows up in the estimate items. Weird, I know, but that's the only way I figured out how to do that space and still see it on the estimate items. And that's how you put a space in your report and make your estimate items look the same. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Once you do it a few times, it'll be a little clearer. And we're going to end this video here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And we'll see you at the next video. Well, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. I think it's down here somewhere. Or even better, subscribe so that you get to see any of the future videos that I post on here. 
Have a great day. We'll see you at the next video.